Hey guys, what's going on? It's Dr. Linz here and I'm bringing you another awesome legging review. I am very excited for this one because I've never reviewed these leggings before and this is the aloe legging. We're gonna get into the specific legging and how I feel about it for the very first time. Before I get into it, don't forget to like, subscribe. I'm bringing you more reviews, more health tips. We're gonna dive in deep to get you feeling amazing. Okay, so let's go ahead. We're gonna get into the aloe legging review. Specifically, we have here the seventh, eighth high waist airbrush legging. All right, as soon as I pulled these out, this is the blue skies. I was like, I'm loving this color. This is like one of my favorite colors. I love lighter blues and teals and things like that. So this color definitely hits the mark. It is very pretty. Now, when I pulled them out of the packaging again, I was like, okay, these are kind of thick. So this may be a good fall slash winter legging. They remind me of the Fabletics Power Hold legging, if you're familiar with those. But when I put these on, I noticed they have more stretch, which I liked because I don't like my leggings being super stiff and not, you know, contouring to my body and still living, leaving some nice wiggle room. So those were the two things that I noticed is that it was thicker, thicker material, like especially compared to the Gymshark, you know, Seamless, Vital Seamless, and the Lululemon Aligns. These are thicker than both of those. All right, so again though, nice stretch. When I put these on, another thing I noticed, we're doing the high waist test. They're not as high waisted, so they are, um, High waisted, that's part of the, part of the name. They are high waisted, but they're not as high waisted as the Aligns and even the uh, Gymshark leggings in general. Now, I don't mind where they hit me. They hit right above the belly button, which for me is fine. The band is still comfortable. It's not too tight, not too loose. It holds you in nicely. Again, two thumbs up for that. Now, let's go ahead. We're gonna get into, I'll tell you the sizing here at the end. Well, that I had to, that I got, but I want to get into something here. They have a front seam and the front seam is like a hit or miss. Some leggings have the front seam. Uh, some leggings don't from Lululemon. Gymshark's pretty seamless, um, but you'll still find them in popular brands. So these have that front seam. Usually I don't have a problem with them, but where they hit me, I got a camel toe. Okay. I'm just going to be honest with you. I got to let you guys know, and it could be my body, how, you know, the seam hit me. It does have a little, uh, I forget what these little pocket crotch pockets are called to help prevent the camel toe. It hit too far back on me, so it didn't help prevent that. So the seam was like right there, okay? It was right there on your girl. So that's something that could be possibly happening. You could ha possibly happen to someone else who gets these. But I do know a lot of people that love aloe and have these leggings, so... Again, could just be me. So let's go ahead. We're gonna move on to the back. These are pretty seamless otherwise, like on the outside of the leg. There's no crazy lines or anything like Gymshark does. On the back, you got a seam in the butt uh, and they go straight then across the glutes, which again, don't mind. I like being able to pull them up a little bit so I can make that V around the glute. I couldn't really do that because it was already, um, you know, giving me a camel toe, so I couldn't pull them up anymore um, to do that around my glutes. But I did like how they looked on me. I really liked how they felt as well as far as the stretch goes and the material in general. So I would feel comfortable wearing these uh, with maybe a longer shirt or sweater um, out and about and even working out in them. But with the camel toe thing and how they hit me, you know, that was kind of hard for me to, uh, to get over there. Um, last but not least, the length fit me great. I am shorter, 5'3", 145, so the length hit me good on that. I'm a size small in this in this legging here. I haven't tried any other aloes before. This is my first time. So I'm a size small in these. I'm a size small in, in medium in some Gymshark leggings, and then a size 4 to 6 in Lululemon. So hopefully that can help you guys you know, find your sizing if you are looking into these leggings. I will go ahead and link these up below. You can try them out yourself. Let me know if you do. Uh, when you shop directly from my leaks, it does help support me as well, and I truly appreciate that. Until next time, let me know if you want to see anything in particular. We'll talk to you later.